So, sadly, um, <laughs> so what I was going to say was, sadly, the, the technology that we use for the making the videos and the making the other things and the making the, all these other things, sadly, they weren't on a good percentage, you know, battery, all that. Once again, it's the newly acquired Geosaur with bangs. What, it seriously looks like it has bangs. It seriously looks like it has bangs. But the reason I'm using Venus right now is that I resist electric. But the cool thing is, I think it is Kanto, once again, I'm saying this, but I have all three Kanto starters, but, um, one thing I gotta say is Charizard sometimes works a bit better not being Gigantamax, because if he had Max Flare instead of D-Max Wildfire, then then it would power up his fire type attacks. But G-Max Wildfire, it does damage to the opponent every turn only if the shield isn't up when you're battling in the rebattle. Which is really good when going on online battles and stuff because it would hit all of your opponent's Pokemon but um, otherwise, I think he would be better as a non Gigantamax Pokemon. And also, if you find a Blastoise with its um with with its hidden ability Rain Dish, it would actually be better as a non Gigantamax Pokemon for the same reason, but just because he can't set up Rain like. His his water type move D Max can and they can't set up rain. It just sets up the whirlpool, like you know. Oh yeah, and I got the master ball from defeating a super duper 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 rare Pokemon. So now I have an extra one just in case I find that guy again. I'm I'm just gonna catch this Pikachu because why not? So. Hey. <laughs> I looked and I and I noticed. Wait, I think I'm missing something. <laughs> and I noticed. Wait, I left it over there. So. Oh yay! Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, the camera. <laughs> I just knocked the camera. That's okay. I can tell why this one's a boy one because it doesn't have like the heart tail. So give me a, give me one sec to find another one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, it's played all. The, the, the. And there's another thing that I want to show off. Another one. Another one. G-Max Drum Solo. He's gonna have, what, six arms playing drums and there's gonna be a huge vine. Hey, Clyde, I'll show you. Ooh, look at all. Look at him. Genius drum solo. Dolo. Shelo. Genius drum solo. It's the game action. Sun solo, sun solo. It's not a sun solo.
Hey, Clayto. Hey, Clayto. Can, can you give me that? Give me that. Uh, the battlefield got weird. Mega Punch. Hoya. Giga Impact. Hoya. And it did barely anything. It did like one damage. I know the shield was up, but still, they like one damage. Oh my goodness, Claydol used the move that Zorak always uses. Oh, I, I threw my controller. I forgot about that. One more Dreamax drum solo coming up. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> When, once you start using it, it seems like it does more damage, but it doesn't. It's just that it, it, it does a lot of damage. It's just that it does a lot of damage. Oh, you can't use explosion. You tried to use explosion. Oh, I guess you tried to do that, but because of how much I like defensive Pokemon, that's barely going to do anything. This is why I chose Pokemon Shield. I mean, more of the Pokemon I like are in Pokemon Sword. But I didn't know that when I first got this game because that was when it first came out. So, I don't blame myself. How am I supposed to know? Because that was like right after the game came out and I didn't even play like... I didn't even look anything up. Like, I didn't really even, I mean, I did watch another gameplay, but still, that didn't really show me any of the cool Pokemon, just normal Pokemon that were in both games. Because I like Darmanitan, Surfetched, and all those guys, but give me a sec to find another one. Oh my goodness, I forgot to. <laughs> That's okay. But this, the reason that this whole time I've been using grass types is because the first Pokemon we won against what was, I, I was resistant to it. The second one we won against, I was super effective. I, I was good against it, but this time I was also good against it. So this whole time I've been using grass types. So now I'm using the super one. The super one is Oh and yeah, having this grassy surge being acted by that really boom powers up all of our grass type attacks. So yeah, the grassy terrain powers up grass type attacks and also heals. Um, I don't know what, what makes it heal one type of Pokemon, but I guess I could say everybody, but it doesn't seem like it always heals everybody. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. But the cool thing is, on what I think, um, eventually I'm gonna get that shiny Zorora because a million people destroyed him so that'll be pretty awesome and it'll be able to show you guys shiny Zorora wow that did more damage than I thought <laughs> I did so much damage can I go to the next can I go or not this brick break but I think I'm gonna go next play Yali Flame Wow, that did a lot of damage. Seed Bomb. If you use Seed Bomb on one of my guys, it wouldn't even affect him because of his ability. Because one of my Pokemon's ability is Bulletproof, which makes any bomb moves or, um, I forget what the other one is. They, both of them don't affect that Pokemon. Oh no, but but the grass with the grassy surge. <laughs> but 
the grassy terrain is also going to heal us. Yay. <laughs> Thank God there's a sandstorm. <laughs> I'm so happy there's a sandstorm. That sandstorm is going to be really helpful. I kind of wanted to finish him off, but I think Urshifu will. Either that or Rillaboom, because Rillaboom, his attack's going to do a bunch of damage and the shield's going to break, so I think G-Max Gun Solar. So I, I, I said it. <gasps> ah, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. One time I used high jump kick when this... When, when in the max raid battle with this shield up and it still destroyed it. But it had the shield up on a bit over half health. And, and still high jump kick destroys him. And I didn't Dynamax. The reason is it would actually do more damage if I didn't. So see you in the next one. Okay, hello. And I was able to join a bunch of people. And there was a Scyther that I was able to join. So I'm using my Charizard. And I recently teached him the move, Dual Wind Beat. You may ask, how do you teach him that move? Um, if you have the Isles of Armor, um, if you go talk to this one guy in the dojo, you give him seven, it, with, with Charizard on your team, you, you give, this one guy seven um android ore and then one of the moves you'll see i don't know if you'll always see this but i think there's a high chance or maybe you'll we'll not always see it but i i saw it that time when i had charizard on my team and this is what dueling beats like i think the checkpoint yeah yeah that's one thing i kind of don't like about it is because the double hitting or it's the multi-hit moves, um, um, like, there's, like, this, the thing that ha there's this thing that happens with it, which makes some um, only really attack once, so, if I used, um, I think if I used, I should have used Flare Blitz, that would have been a bunch of damage. Really now? At the end of this, I'm gonna have to heal up Charizard, and I didn't know he'd do that much damage. I mean, I did kind of set up this one of my Charizards to be a bit more on the offensive side, and then my other one to be on the medium stats side. Ooh, this is a situation where, where dual wing beat will work. At least I think so. Nope. Dual wing. That's the only thing with the ray battle. Sometimes it does that. I don't really like that part of it, but that's whatever. But it's really good with the shield up. That's when it gets a bit more good. But like, it's like, with me going first, it's not very good right now, because I would want someone else to, to go before me so that I could go and play some one of the people that hits the shield, but I guess not. I guess I'm always gonna have to be the person actually getting the hits off. So I guess I'm just gonna finish him off with a with a a, a little beat. Dual wing beat. Okay, I guess do one beat missed. <laughs> I should have used flamethrower. Obviously, flamethrower would have been better. I'm not gonna catch this one, I already have my own. So. Oh, Mega Horn Eye. That's one of my favorite bug type moves. Have it on hair cross. On my hair cross. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I gotta join this. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta join this. But I gotta see you guys next time in the next episode. <laughs>